for our hummingbird, I've taken a 260 and inflated it, leaving about a four to four and a half inch tail on the end. What we're going to do is we're going to start with our knot end, and I'm going to make a fold twist with about a four and a half inch bubble or so. So twist that, grab the knot, twist it around a couple times, and then tuck it through. Now we're going to make a little small bubble, about a half inch, make that into a pinch twist. And now we're going to go to the other end where our tail is, pinch off about a two inch bubble, and then bring that back up to the other end, twist it around that fold twist to secure it, and put them on opposite sides. Now we're going to take our loop that we've created with that, find the middle of it and twist it, and then bring it down to the middle. Grab one of our wings and spin it around once or twice to secure it. And if you bring them to the other side, that helps lock it in place. Now we're going to take where our tail is sticking out, the left over, fold it over, pull it down alongside the balloon, and then squeeze the bubble. See how it forces that up? And that will force that tail to point down, much like the beak of a hummingbird. So now we've got the tail of the hummingbird, his two wings, and there's his head with his beak, and you have a quick and simple hummingbird. If you leave this straight, make it shorter and don't make a fold twist, you can also make this a mosquito, and this is his mouth where he bites.